Alright, so this is going to be a video about the Delta and Theta door hovering route. So before, we would use the um, fire extinguisher here, but this object's shit because it's cylindrical, very difficult to hover with. So we're just going to leave that behind. Exit the little shuttle pod from Delta. And immediately to our left, after exiting here, we get this much better item to hover with, which is the uh, shuttle car door. So the first change in the route is that you can actually use the door here to hover straight to the um, the little zeppelin antenna thingy, because this is just like the easiest object in the game to hover with. You don't really need to go to the uh, antenna with a hover. You can just walk straight there, but slightly more direct. And you just mine as well because it's so easy to hover with this thing. So that should be right around this building. Turn it on, go to 5, go to the right. And then just carry this to the Zeppelin collar button. Alright, so I'm just going to put this right down here to the left. Power button, call the Zeppelin, and immediately after clicking this button, I'm going to hop on top of this door and start hovering to it. The Zeppelin is right to the back left corner of the landing zone. You can see it pop into, an exi into existence right up here. So just drop in here. Plug in the Omni tool. And then we'll just listen to this whole cutscene. Uh, if you're really close to these little things that pop down, it should push you off. That doesn't really matter that much. You can try and avoid that by positioning yourself like right in the middle of the Omni tool console, and then it shouldn't push you backwards like that. But not that big of a deal. So now I have to go kill a robot. Um, every time that I've popped or used the door and then gotten onto the Zeppelin really early, this robot over here has been bugged where he's just like sat still and just taken all three shots without moving, so that's pretty convenient. I'm not sure if it's specifically hovering to the Zeppelin with the door that causes this, but it's happened every time that I've done this route with the door, so another benefit possibly, although it's not confirmed that that's the reason. Let's just go over here where the robot dies, pick up his chip, and then pop it in the Zeppelin. Alright, so before you actually start up the Zeppelin, pull the lever and press the button, you want to set up the door so that you can hover out of the Zeppelin while it's rising really easily. Next, we're going to need to get to the Theta map with the door via hovering before the Zeppelin gets there. So, for anyone who wasn't aware, after pressing this yellow button to start the Zeppelin off, 47 seconds after you press that button, the Delta map unloads and the Theta map, which is the place you're going to, loads into, an, into existence. So, the route here is going to be press the button, immediately hop on the door, start flying to Theta, and then 47 seconds after you press the button, <coughs> Theta is going to pop into an, to an existence, and the door that we're hovering on, that we're going to be hovering on, is going to unload, and you're going to fall down onto the map in Theta. But you sh should be able to gain enough distance away from the Zeppelin so that you're over land whenever that happens. I'll try and show that off now. Let's just position this correctly. Pull this down, press the button, hop on this, start hovering. Alright, and we're free. You can tell where Theta is if you just find this pipe right in front of me. The thing points directly to Theta, so you can just like hug the right side of it and run parallel with it and that'll bring you directly to the Theta map. 
So I've left the Zeppelin behind, but eventually it's going to unload Delta and this door along with it. So I need to make sure I gain enough forward distance to get over Theta's land. It should be right here. There we go. Alright, so I made it to Theta, but now I don't have an object like the fire extinguisher to hover the rest of the way, so we're going to have to walk that distance. Luckily, there is a way to walk there, even though there are invisible walls about. I'll go and show off the invisible wall, so you know where to walk. For the most part, though, it's just walking straight forward. It's not terribly complicated. So where these lights are, I just want to go up this mountain to the left of them. Sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. There's an easier place to hop on top but there, but I just like haven't figured it out. So there are these two cylindrical things, and on this building, there's some invisible walls right here. But there's also this hole, like right in between these two invisible walls, that we can just walk through. So we're just going to walk through there, and that gets us into the main section of the Theta map. So now we're extremely ahead of the Zeppelin. We're not stuck in the Zeppelin, so we don't have to wait on anything. And we don't have to use the fire extinguisher to hover out. And after we complete this puzzle, we're going to grab the little puzzle piece that blocks um, the little cylinder cylinder here, the authorized personnel panel, and we're going to hover back onto the Zeppelin so that we're able to grab the Omni tool as soon as possible. So pull this down. Cap, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Alright, there we go. So grab the authorized personnel panel and start hovering back to the Zeppelin platform. Shit, I didn't get over the wall. But ideally, if you didn't like turn on debug overdraw, the Zeppelin wouldn't even be here yet, you would just hover to it as it's coming up. And if you don't want to hover into the Zeppelin, or if you're too slow to get here before the Zeppelin gets here, then you can just go around and pick up the Omni tool from the side, and then just walk forward. Like, hovering into the Zeppelin again legit just saves the two seconds that it takes to get from the back side of the Omni tool console to the front side where you would pick it up if you were to pick this Omni tool up from inside here. And then we just go to Theta inside. So the route here hasn't really changed that much. We're pretty much just replacing the fire extinguisher with the door. But since the door is so much easier to hover with, it allows you to do everything so efficiently that it just feels really optimal. Anyway, hope somebody found this helpful.